Welcome. In front of me is an Cat S53, and today I'll go over unboxing along with a quick overview. So, anyway, I'll just unbox this. So right away we got our little chunky boy, and that's a that is a chunky one. Then under here we got our charging cable and SIM eject tool and paperwork. So nothing really special. Just eat that to the side. There we go. Okay, so now that it's turning on, let's quickly touch upon the display, which this has a six and a half inch display with a resolution of 720 by 1600. Uh, comes with 83% uh, screen to body ratio and 270 pixels per inch. Now, you should be able to see that just in a second. So, while well, it's still. Oh, there we go. It's actually turned on. So, as you can see, we have a pretty chunky bezels all around with a rubberized uh, just roll back along with sides. So, it's obviously a more of a rugged device as you would expect from caterpillar now I want to quickly go through the setup because I'm actually unaware of what we have in here as in the it kind of looks like a flashlight but usually the cameras are something well they do some gimmicks like night vision or we have some kind of uh, air quality measurements stuff like that so I'm kind of curious what we have right here I do have a massive button, which does something. Let's see what we get. So we got a macro, macro photo, video. Let's actually see this. Not enough light. It's actually not bad. So, um, in terms of cameras, this is only a 2 megapixel macro, but honestly, from what I can see, it doesn't do that bad of a job. If it can actually flip, that would, oh, there we go. That would be great. So yeah, this is actually sharp enough to to use, especially for whatever you need. At, for instance, that worked for this thing specifically for. Now I don't see anything else in here that would uh, add up to it. We do have a uh, two sensors right here, so we have a 48 megapixel wide sensor and then the two megapixel macro, which allowed us for that video, and also adds that uh, just macro photos as well. And this just looks like a flashlight, which I believe in this case I can just, yep, launch like this. Oh boy, that is bright. So yeah, we have a literally a dedicated flashlight instead of using a flash on the camera. It has its own little thing. So there we go, those are kind of the gimmick of this. Uh, it's honestly a little bit more underwhelming, considering I have seen devices that have a little bit more, uh, meaning the color pillars, that had more to offer apart from just the ruggedness and uh, just a couple cameras. So this one comes with a flashlight and it's on the underwhelming side. Now anyway let's just finish up the overview right here. So moving on in terms of battery you have a 5500 mAh battery. It can charge at uh, 
no, no clue actually. It doesn't really specify how fast does it charge. But it does say that it has wireless charging. And honestly, let me just quickly... Okay, so here we got our charging port under this little flap. We also have a headphone jack, which you can see. Supposedly this device has a wireless charging. Now if I can find a little charging thingy thing. Come on. Yeah, I cannot locate it. So my phone is charging no problem here. But it doesn't want to, oh, there we go. Okay, so it is charging. I just needed to find the spot. Now, the reason it took me a little bit longer is because I do have a under the, dis uh, under the table uh, charger. So it basically sends the signal through the table. So I don't have any indication where the charger is. So I just kind of like fumble around till the phone starts charging this way. A little bit iffy for me anyway uh now uh, let's mention the price of this device which it's actually on a little bit of a pricier side it comes at about 530 euros uh, and for that we also have a snapdragon 480 which is a 5g processor and 6 gigabytes ram with 128 gigs of built-in storage now that being said um Apart from the rugged nature of this device, uh, it has very little to offer for well, the price, I would argue. So for 500, over 500 euros, I believe you can get a little bit of a better device uh, than this. We'll, we'll have significantly better display, so it will be a full uh, 1080p with possibly 90 or 120 uh, hertz refresh rate, depending on like what brand you go with. And obviously most of those phones won't be rugged, but what you can do, which arguably might be a better alternative, is buy a just chunky case for it. And once the case gets damaged, just replace it. Something that you cannot do with actual like rugged devices like this. If this gets damaged, that the case for this or whatever, the, the housing, you cannot just take it off and replace it. So I would argue that non-rugged devices might be a little bit better for that just because you have the option to change the case once it just becomes worn down, scratched, and just not very nice to like hold, damaged, whatever, just replace it. You cannot replace this, you would need to replace the entire phone. And the only benefit of this device is the uh, bright flashlight, but uh, let's be honest, uh, all the phones have a flashlight ability, just maybe not as bright as this, but still. There we go. So that's basically the only gimmick of this device where I believe you do get to pay a little bit more for it. Now, it does have one ace up its sleeve, which is the wireless charging, but arguably, I'm pretty sure most of the people will not be using wireless charging. I have a wireless brick under here that I barely use just because charging the device wire in a wired mode will give me a faster charge so i prefer to charge my phone faster so i don't have to wait so long for it to charge and arguably i believe a lot of people are the same way and this being one of the two things that it offers which is flashlight and wireless charging i don't think it's worth the price uh, when you can get a better device that has better specs and will work faster and look better while basically offering arguably almost everything that this device offers uh, if you're willing to put on a, a rugged case on a different device. So that's kind of my my approach to this device and actually a lot of rugged devices. Obviously if you like rugged devices uh, just based on appearance maybe or uh, the, the ease that it comes kind of built into the phone and that's fine i'm not trying to discourage you in any way i'm just trying to give you a perspective that might be a little bit more cost effective 
So anyway, with this being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.